Hey guys, so I am so excited because we've moved from the city down to the beach to our new humble abode. We were staying in a fairly reasonably cheap accommodation and we decided that we deserved a few days of luxury. So let me show you our career. So as you walk in, we have this like little entranceway and hello. Dun, 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 Tatiana in the mirror. All right, so I'll start in the bathroom. So it's like open plan shower, little toilet. Here are the sinks. There's the mirror right there. And then you walk in onto the bedroom. Okay, so I'm gonna the other side is in then it's like this double bed and then we have like a little closet here and then we lead outside onto our terrace. From outside we have this like little terrace bit where we can sit and relax and then upstairs we have our own rooftop pool how sick is this it's true i should have noticed We just had a really nice fancy breakfast at the hotel. Um, I feel like these like yesterday and today there's like not loads to show because like when you get to fancy places like this you kind of just take pictures and relax but um, today we're gonna head down to the pool. The pool's really nice maybe get some drone shots from our roof so let's head to the pool. <laughs> OMG this girl is so dramatic. This is so basic. It's also a sunrise duh. Oh Time to check out. Okay, so we've just checked into our third accommodation of Tulum. We're staying in a cute little Airbnb. Airbnb. We're, we're staying in a cute little Airbnb. Um, it was not too expensive. It's in the Tulum Beach area because we really wanted to stay down here just for the one last day before we move on tomorrow. So I think this is gonna be the last day of this vlog, but um, I'll show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so here is our third Airbnb. There's Tati on the bed, getting comfy. And it's super simple, but it's actually really nice and it's close to the beach. We have more of a kitchen than the first place. Um, and then we have come through here and we have our shower. It's a bit dark, so I hope you can see the toilet. Okay, the sink doesn't look the best, but it'll do. So we decided to have one last expensive hoorah for our last full day in Tulum. So we've come to Azuleic for like a late breakfast brunchy, lunchy kind of vibe. Um, we've ordered some oysters and tacos and this like tuna thing, it's kind of like a tuna ceviche. Um, disclaimers for Azulek, for people that want to come here, 
you have a $35 minimum for breakfast and lunch and I think it's $80 for dinner um, and then which to be honest by the time you've ordered like two dishes and a drink you probably are going to hit more than that the surroundings are really nice but you can only sit on a normal table unless you want to pay I think it's like $100 plus for like to rent a nest um, but we'll include some cute little pictures of that in the vlog and this beat. doesn't like sushi. I really start to like ceviche, so maybe I'm gonna give sushi another try because this <laughs> Right, so we stayed in Tulum for an extra day because Tatiana really, really wanted to go to Pablo's mansion. Um, and we had read online that you can get a day pass and you can go and like look around, take pictures, use the pool, things like that. That's a lie. That is not correct. <laughs> we just got there. We got all dressed up, looking all cute, looking all nice. See that cleavage? <laughs> and um, they said $130 minimum consumption. Now, if I wanted to come here for the food and I was like here, here for the food, then I probably wouldn't mind. And there are places where we paid probably about that for our meals. But I just think £130 to just go in and have dinner each is a bit ridiculous. It's the highest um, expense that we've had so far in Tulum. And I just think I'm not willing to pay that. Well, to be honest, I was willing to pay because I wanted Tati to get what she wanted, so I was going to suck it up and pay the hundred and thirty dollars. But, but she was like, "Nah, I'm not paying it. Nah, I'm paying it. It will always be there, and I can always come back." So she's gonna wait for a rich man. Yeah. <laughs> After the Pablo fiasco, we decided to get changed and just come down to this like little street food area in Tulum, and we've ended up getting some poke bowls, which look really good. I was about to take some little chips for the gram, and we're gonna taste that. And I think we're just gonna have a chilled one, and we're gonna go for some hookah, as the Americans like to call it. We call it a shisha bar in England. Hey guys, so we just got back to the room and we grabbed some ice cream from Tulum Creamery. It was this cute little guy on the side of the road. His stand was so pretty and so nice and the ice cream is amazing and they have lots of vegan options, so I'd highly recommend. We are about to go to bed now um, and then tomorrow we head down to Yucatan for the next few days and then play the common. So hope you enjoyed this vlog. Catch me in the next one and like and subscribe for more Mexico vlogs. Bye.